Hello! Weird. Hey, welcome back to Tell Me About. Today I was with Professor Jeremy Bamberg again, and I asked him if we could be in two places at once. And he said no, but some particles can. So that's cool, and that's what this episode's about, so... I've read that the double slit experiment is a really good way of, ex of demonstrating wave-like properties of particles. How, how does this actually happen? So we can make, like, two apertures, and we can send some particles through the apertures, and normally we'd just expect they would just go through and just carry on in a straight line. But something peculiar happens when we make the particles small uh, and the wave-like nature comes into play. So what happens is that the wave of the particle, when it goes through the aperture, tends to spread out. And if we have two apertures, then the, the waves tend to overlap with each other. And then we get a wave phenomena where the crests of the wave where they overlap will add up. And whether in opposition to each other, they'll cancel, we'll get troughs where they'll cancel. And since the, the total wave tells us the probability of finding a particle there, then where the crests add up, we'll find particles, but where they don't, we won't. So actually what we see behind the slit is something much more complicated. We see that the electron has probability to go in this direction, and maybe these directions, and maybe these directions, but not in between. So a very complicated pattern, which is a clear signature of of wave properties, not particle properties. So if you put a detector on the other side and we measure, say, on a screen, we'll find the electrons arrive as discrete objects, but exactly where the wave would tell us they should. Is there a size at which this stops happening? Because I know Buckminster Fullerene, which is carbon-60, a ball of carbon, also shows this property. So, for instance, if we were like, firing through slits, then would this still be the case? Or like, what size does it stop? Yes, it's a really good question, and people are really exploring it to see how big they can make this work at. So essentially, there is no size limit except for some complications. So electrons are fine, but also protons, neutrons, whole atoms. People can make uh, metal films by sending aluminium atoms through. They've got to you know, be, they've got to all be going in the same direction at a particular speed because the, what the, the waves do depends on their wavelength, which depends on their speed. But there are various ways to do that. So indeed, people have made buckfins to fullerene, these, these sort of footballs of carbon, and, and you can send them through one at a time. And that, that buckfins to fullerene, that each one will go through both slits because the wave actually is large enough that it can go through both slits and then interfere. So it seems strange that a particle can do that. But it can. We can absolutely measure it doing that. And the biggest that people have managed to do is certain organic molecules that start to resemble some of the proteins in our body. Why it stops working is that these molecules tend to have complicated motions. So we need to make sure that they don't actually move while they're moving through the slit. They actually mustn't change their state while they're going through the slit. And the more complicated the molecule, the more ways it can do that. And so actually this effect starts to blur out. So potentially, would it be possible to do this with large molecules if it was also possible to control? Yeah, yeah, we, we, could, we could, I mean, potentially take very large molecules through. So we might say, well, what happens if you have two molecules undergoing a chemical reaction when we put them through the slits? Can we change the chemical reaction by actually having it happen as they're going through two slits? Because it's, their, their wave-like properties are accentuated. So there are many interesting experiments that we're starting to learn how one might do. Thank you so much for watching. Um, like and subscribe to keep up to date with all of our latest releases. Wednesdays, Sundays, and then Wednesdays again, and then Sundays, indefinitely.